and I think somebody came by with a catalog, dropped it on this guy's front seat, and they said, you know what? You need to doctor this up. You need to dress up this baby. And this baby is insane. I mean, I've got, oh, wait a second. I got Swiddy, I got Smitty built right here. I got Predator up top. Look at my wheels. Wait a second. Come on over here. Check out my wheels. I got ballistic off-road. You, my friends, can just do this. I mean, anybody can do this. You can take this stuff, you can bolt it on, you can dress it up, and you can take it out to the show because it is just so much fun to share your passion with other people. Headlights to tailpipes is a story in between. I don't know where this guy is, but somebody's going to go out and say, there's some dude that's stocking your Hummer. You need to go over there and tell him the story because this story is awesome. Big wheels keep on turning right here. Subscribe to our channel. Headlights and tailpipes on YouTube, and get yourself out to a car show. It's a family fun event. Did I say subscribe? My producer said subscribe. I think I said it already, but subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Joshua. This is your headlights and your tailpipe stories. Okay. All right, so your headlights and your tailpipes have a lot of stories. And one of the things we like to do is we like to educate people. Now, first off, are you brushing your teeth? because this car here is sponsored by Colgate. <laughs> Colgate, I hope you're listening because we're looking for sponsorship, actually. From the headlights to your tailpipes, Larry, what'd you do with this 66 Beauty? What are we looking at? So this is a 1966 C10 short bed, all original. I'm the second owner. I bought it 24 years ago at the Pomona Swap Meet back in 93. Uh, it's kind of the truck I've always wanted since I was a teenager. Just happened to find it back in 93 and it was original and Trucks kind of got sentimental value to me because the, the guy that I bought it from, he was out of Fresno, California. He used it on a farm. All he did was pull a trailer around, pulling produce. And actually, that's my hometown is Fresno. So when we bought it, it was like, wow, I found my truck. And how I ended up with it, he wanted $4,500 originally for it. I didn't have that money back then as a 23-year-old. I only had a few thousand dollars on me, but my buddies were there. and. We did a coin flip and he said, I'll tell you what, he goes, I don't want to take it back home. He said, uh, let's do a coin flip if you're a gambler, man. He goes, heads, you pay me what I want. And he said, tails, you can get it for 2700 I looked at my buddies and they said, if whatever we got to do, either way, we'll back you up. So we flipped a coin, landed on my side. I paid 2700 for it. I drove it all the way home that day, three on the tree, original engine, still there, still original 283, just took the, uh, Stock two barrel off, put an Edelbrock 500 on it, four barrel, out of the air conditioning. So this will be cool is this, we're gonna go around a little bit of B-roll with the camera in a second, so you can tell me some of the stuff you told me a little bit earlier. So first off, since we're on the engine, tell me about the engine, all right, what did you do so, to it so far? So, so far with the engine, the only thing we did, we took it out back in the day, a guy Bill at Motor Mission over on Lake Mead years ago, we just took the engine 30 over, put a different cam in it, Put a mild cam in it, put a 500 Edelbrock uh, high rise on it. Not really much, but it just gets around, gives it a little more, a little pep around town. Added the, the air conditioner to it, the vintage air. Um, just put some little chrome on it, but you know. I, I, you know what, come on in here with the camera, would you, Jerry? All right, because, all right, so let's from this side right here. I need you right there. Jerry's going to get us nice and wide anyway, because you're going to tell us about because I can see, you know what, you got a lot of pride and you put a lot of thought into it. And so we talked about the engine. What's the next thing you want to Oh, I know what I want to talk about. Check this out. You guys ready for this? Bring up a little bit higher, Jerry. There's something missing here, Larry. What's missing there? So these trucks from the factory, they come with a body line. There's a seam that's on here, and it goes on the sides. It goes throughout the front of the hood. Down here on the front, there's usually a seam, a factory seams that are here. So what we did when we were putting this together, we just welded and we brazed all these seams in all the way around the whole front end to make it a, a whole one piece front end. We did the same thing on the bed on the back, got rid of those uh, factory seams, just kind of made it all mold in and give it the smoother look, so. Subtle is beautiful to me. I mean, really kind of like those little attention to detail that you might not notice walking around, but you really just made this kind of just all come together i mean it's beautiful you guys want to see something else ready follow us this way all right so i know this video is a little bit longer but this this truck to me just really it's got the story but it's also got the details 
I mean, look in here. Look at how beautiful the interior is. This interior, my friends, is what, Larry? Come over here. Is this interior air conditioned? This is air conditioning interior. Yes, it is. Full air conditioner. That was one of the deals with the wife. She said, hey, if you expect me to drive around with you in the summer, you better get air in there. So we have air in there, and she likes to ride around with me. So, yeah, it blows nice. Thank you, Vintage Air. Uh, you know, again, you know, from headlights to tailpipes, how to's, uh, how to do you with your I do is there's some concessions there. Air conditioning was a concession with his I do, and guess what? They get to drive around with this on a regular basis because it's comfortable and it's beautiful. All right, so let's go back a little bit further. Wait till you see this. The bed of this truck, I would sleep here, I would eat here. This thing is beautiful. Walk me through what's going on there. So with the bed, I've always been a fan of the old uh, wood style beds. This is not the original wood, but it's original. It's oak. It's aftermarket oak that we went ahead and took back in, uh, went ahead and stained it and cleared it and sealed it up and went with the chrome strips on it. Um, I took the gas tank from behind the seat because no matter what you did, that smell and that gas sloshing around, you never got rid of it. And as a safety feature, you know what? I'd rather just put it back here. So we put it back here, a 17 gallon tank back here, tucked it away and everything else is good but the beds there it's it's part of it it's nostalgic to me and i just kind of like that old look so sweet now that that is a really detailed let's get in there and make this improvement to the vehicle but here's an easy one for you guys right so let's pull out a little bit check this out look at the front wheels look at the back wheels what have we got talk about in regards to the lugs so come on in here so I look at them i got them to my right and i got them to my left this is something that you can do to your car tomorrow so what i did with the wheel combination was um kind of old-fashioned i've always liked the look of a supreme wheel the chrome wheel because this truck was six lug all the way around original i wanted to go with a six spoke wheel i ended up finding these wheels just looking through them and said, you know what, this might work. I went with 20 inch rims all the way around, got the right offset. These are nine and a half inch, 20 inch all the way around, laid it down perfect, set down, ride smooth. It's just kind of the look I want and, and it seems to be and I'm happy. So. <laughs> this baby looks like she corners pretty good too. Handle, handles great. The whole underneath is all brand new CPV suspension, uh, tubular A-arms, control arms, everything's brand new through the bottom. Disc brakes, it, it really does ride smooth. I love it. From your headlights to your tailpipes, I'm taking smooth corners with smooth, beautiful corners. All the way, look at these lines. Come on out to a car show. Subscribe to Headlights to Tailpipes. Get yourself involved in the community because guess what? You're going from A to B every day. It might as well be a little tasty. This is Josh. Thanks for tuning in. Absolutely, Josh. Thank you. Appreciate everything you guys do. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. How to's. Now, this minty green beauty right here has an interesting cleaning tip for you. Are you ready for it? Larry, what did you do to take this 66 grill back to original? So, so what I did is I got told the old secret how to get it back was uh, took some toothpaste and a light steel wool, put it on here, put a little water, and sand it very lightly. Sand it very lightly it'll bring the shine back out. This grill is original from 1966. If you'd have seen it prior to a year ago, it was completely rust. You can actually see the rust that's in it through the back on the back side. I didn't do the back side, I just did the front, but it actually came out and believe it or not, it's a trick that somebody taught me and it, and it works fantastic. <laughs> so I hope you're paying attention there because what Larry said is, Always do the front side and not the back side because that can get relatively uncomfortable when you're restoring your grill. Thanks for tuning in to your headlights and tailpipes. How to's. Oh man. You know the excitement, everything that I'm always just all over the place and whatnot. But one of the things you guys need to remember is this. If you don't have sponsors, if you don't have the Danielles out here that are putting up their booths, you don't have these shows. So you gotta get out and at least ask them, hey. Why are you here, Danielle? What do you got? Who are you? 
I'm Danielle with American National Insurance, and what separates me from the competition is that excellent personal local service. So I'm right down the street, Stephanie in Warm Springs, and I'm in the community every Saturday at this car show, and I'm born and raised here, so I know the community and I know what everybody needs. Little piece of trivia for you. I knew about this show years ago. Danielle and I connected on social media, came down here, checked it out, and I just I just re-found a love for it. Now what's interesting is this, there's this guy in the background, we're like, who's this guy? He just walked into the video. This dude is Zeus! This is Danielle's dad! Car shows are a family affair. Dad, why? Why the car show? Ah, uh, it's been a love affair for a long time. Cars, motorcycles, everything. And I'm very proud of my daughter, you know, so I gotta support her too. So. And you got a supporter too. Why? Because the car show isn't here without our sponsors. At least walk up, grab their card, get a proposal, right? As easy as that. A simple proposal. I don't mean one of these proposals. I mean a proposal. <laughs> what do you get? This is your headlights and your tailpipes. I'm Josh. Thanks for tuning in.